does your sewing machine keep unthreading itself and you do not know why? Here are my six quick fixes that should stop that annoying unthreading but do stick around for the very last one because that is the most common mistake that people make and which is very easily remedied. First up, is your machine threaded correctly? A machine that's not threaded properly can throw a paddy and very quickly unthread itself. So check your manual or watch my full tutorials on threading a sewing machine and your bobbin to get it running smoothly again. Links are in the description just down there. Secondly, is your needle threaded correctly? Needles are threaded from front to back. And possibly if you have an old machine left to right, thread this the wrong way around and your machine will start crossing you off its Christmas card list. Next up, check out your thread. People think that they can put any old thread that they inherited from Great Aunt Hilda onto their sewing machine. Just not true. This is old thread, watch. Old thread breaks far too easily, as does cheap unbranded thread, and it will do that in your sewing machine. So do yourself and your machine a favour and buy a good quality branded thread such as Gutterman or Mettler and you and your machine will thank you for it. Oh, by the way, if you're finding this helpful, please don't forget to hit the like to this video and subscribe to my channel as this really helps my tips and tutorials reach other sewers just like you who need help. So fourth on my list, how old is your needle? Okay, you can stop shuffling around and looking at the ceiling, come back and look at me. Needles become blunt. They become bent and they kind of shred. Yeah, really. You may not be able to see this without a magnifying glass, but I promise you that they do. Blunt, bent and shredded needles can break your thread and your machine can consequently unthread itself. Needles need changing every eight hours or at the start of every new project, whichever comes sooner. So do yourself and your machine yet another favour and pop in a new needle. Fifth is your top tail long enough. A tail that's too short will in all likelihood pull back through the needle when your machine starts sewing. So give yourself a good four to six inches of tails from both top and bottom threads before you start stitching. And here's the best one. This is the most common reason why machines unthread themselves, particularly as you start to sew. Is your thread take up lever at its highest position before you start to sew. What's that? It's this bit in here. If it's not at its highest position, your needle won't be at its highest position either. And it's a very common mistake to leave this lever rather at half mast. If you try to sew when it's not in its uppermost position, your machine will become unthreaded. This is because and rather simplistically, because I do not pretend to be an engineer, the machine wants to finish a stitch first before it starts the next one. When it does that, it will pull your thread with it and consequently unthread your machine. So the very easy fix to this one is to make sure that your take up lever is at its highest position. Use your hand wheel to adjust it or your needle up or down button if you have one. And those are your six reasons why your machine is merrily unthreading itself and what you can do about them. But if you want my really quick tip on how you should be unthreading your machine correctly, then watch this video right now.